This is episode 2188 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley and I welcome you to day two of our series we're exploring this week. This is a special series to help you manage a bad mood. Bad moods seem to be going around a lot these days. You may find this even with yourself. They seem almost as contagious as the coronavirus. As you start a brand new year, one of the most powerful ways you can improve your life on many levels is of course meditation, which you are doing, but it's also to manage negative moods. And you might think, well, I'm meditating, so that takes care of my negative moods. But actually, whatever you tend to focus on most is what will show up most in your life. So even as you meditate, you might feel your thoughts spiraling downward. You could even be intensifying your negative thoughts to where you might even be ruminating, not able to let go of certain negative thoughts. So this is an important week where you will learn how to uplift your thoughts. In today's episode, you're going to discover an affirmation. An affirmation is a powerful statement that helps you focus on an intention. The intention this week is to go on a positivity quest. That is actually your challenge for the week. Every week I share with you a challenge. You are challenged to notice when your thoughts begin to spiral downward and even to begin to notice when your thoughts spiral upward. Anything that takes you out of feeling nice and centered or balanced can cause your emotional state to come crashing downward. So when you think about your thoughts, you can think of them as a pendulum that swings from one extreme direction to the other. So even when you're experiencing a positive state, such as ecstasy or excitement, those big strong emotions, even though they're positive, are difficult to maintain. It takes a lot of energy to sustain an ecstatic state. That's why it can become addictive to turn to devices or substances that keep you in that high ecstatic state, even exercise. Anything that's designed to give you a rush or an elevated boost can become addictive. So take care that even when you're exercising, that you're doing so to feel more at peace, to experience health and vitality rather than to feel like, yeah, I'm really killing my workout today. And you're going to feel like that sometimes because we get excited, especially if we're really having a great day or having that great workout. Just keep in mind that don't work out for that rush, for that state, because that's not usually sustainable and you might not reach it every time you work out. So then you might feel like, oh yeah, working out's not really working for me anymore. You might even begin to feel that way about your meditation. So when you sit down to meditate, take care not to meditate to reach bliss every single time. Meditate to feel calmer. Meditate to feel a little more peace. And to give yourself a pause from the distractions and the worries of your day. Even if you've had a fantastic day, meditate to deepen that joy and satisfaction. So if you're not subscribed to the podcast, I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode, so you can maintain that consistency that's so important 
helping you manage your moods. And I want to share with you a message from a fellow meditator who uses meditation by listening to the podcast just like you do to help him manage his moods. This is Josh who lives in Ireland, but he is from the Philippines. He says, your meditation podcast helped me get through the year, specifically going through a heartbreak at the start of 2020. You helped me appreciate and love myself more and made me realize that I'm worth slowing down for. By November, the strongest storm in the world hit my hometown in the Philippines, and I wasn't able to contact my family. Thankfully, they were safe, but you helped me alleviate the anxiety and worry that I had during those moments, as well as made me more grateful for the little things. Your podcast helped me value life more and be more grateful of each passing day. I now have a daily habit of listening to it when I wake up in the morning. I want to thank Josh for sharing his journey this year and for applying the techniques and for showing up for himself day in and day out every morning when he starts his day. It's helped him work his way through heartbreak and by helping him manage his fear when he didn't know what happened to his family when a natural disaster hit his hometown. But it really isn't the podcast or me sharing with you that really has nothing to do with any kind of benefits you receive in your life because you hear positive things all day long throughout your entire life you've heard positive statements you've read positive books what really makes the difference is you you are acting on what you learn or what you hear or any inspiration that you come across, you are applying it to your life. So I appreciate you giving me the credit, but it, it's really not me. It's you doing this for yourself. Some people turn on the podcast. They want to learn to meditate. They want something to help them feel better. They don't really get anything out of it because they're just not at that place on their journey where they're going to be open and receptive to meditation. Other people listen to the podcast and they're ready. They're open and receptive. That may be you. I know many of you listen every day and have done so for years. So I appreciate you. I'm simply sharing my own journey and what I've learned from many others with you but i was at a place where i could read inspiring books take meditation classes yoga classes a lot of self-improvement but it didn't really make a difference in my life until i was ready so wherever you are on the journey honor where you are just keep showing up for yourself and be open and receptive to the best that you can be. So your affirmation that will help you this week, I encourage you to repeat the affirmation every day, maybe every morning and every evening. And when you feel your mood begin to shift downward, or when you feel yourself getting a little too extreme with your emotions, Repeat, I uplift my thoughts in all situations. Uplifting your thoughts means not taking you to extreme, but rather helping you feel a deep inner peace and an inner joy that's not dependent on anything outside of you. So settle yourself down, close your eyes, gently uplift them, Begin to notice your mood right now. Notice what may have caused your mood. And then notice that 
it's okay if you're not in a great mood or if you're struggling know that this is part of your unique journey and that moods fluctuate like that pendulum knowing that your time now is to help you feel a little more at peace a little more uplifted Begin to notice your breath as you inhale and exhale through your nose. Now, repeat out loud, engaging the power of your voice. I uplift my thoughts in all situations. I uplift my thoughts in all situations. Notice how this impacted your mood. Now mentally affirm, I uplift my thoughts in all situations. I uplift my thoughts in all situations. Now continue with your meditation, allowing yourself to deepen whatever level of joy or peace or energy you currently have. You are so worth slowing down for.